Hello, Team Squatch and USA fans. It is January 1st, 2016. 12 noon straight up. Happy New Year. This is Dr. J reporting from Waha, the Washington habituation area, which is in the woods in the green belt behind our house. If you follow this south, goes all the way to the Mount Rainier National Forest. We have seen squatches in here. We have cast tracks out of here. We have recorded vocal language out of here and singing out of here in calls. And yet, we're on the edge of suburbia. There are houses right up here. See the houses right there and over there, right over there. Those are houses. We're on the edge of a subdivision, yet there's squatches in these woods behind us. Did you know that Pierce County, where we live right here, is the number one county in the United States of America for reported Sasquatch sightings. King County, where Seattle, Washington is located, is number two. And that's according to the BFRO database. So the thought that um, you have to be deep in the woods, where you have to go on horses, quads, pack mules, 5, 10, 20, 30 miles into the woods in order to commune with the squatches is not accurate. Bottom line is you have squatches pretty much everywhere. And I just wanted to deal with that. Yes, the um, location of SOA has been compromised. And um, so I'm going to start off this video by um, saying, Stephen Struford, you're an a-hole. And here's why. I believe if I was informed correctly, your store got shot up by an a-hole. Somebody didn't like what you were saying, didn't like you, whatever, and decided to shoot up your store. Thank goodness you weren't inside. Um, and I'm sure you felt really violated. Like, why would a human being behave that way? Why would they do that? Why would they violate your space like that? I'm sure you went through a lot of stuff like that. But the problem is that having gone through having your space violated, you turn around and did the same thing to me. You violated my space. You violated my research area. And then unlike the individual who was in a hole and shot up your store, you had the audacity to put it on YouTube for everyone to see how you violated my research area, how you hijacked my research area and we're proud of it proud of it now i, I i'm sure the a-hole shot up your store was proud of it too but i'm sure you'd think that that's messed up that he was proud that he shot up your store well you know dr j you don't own so it's public land well steven stufert do you own the building or are you renting and is that your building or a space you've been provided to do what you do like I've been, was provided the space to do what I was doing and so on. So the bottom line is, when somebody treats you like crap and then you turn around and do the very same thing to somebody else, that makes you an a-hole. Now, however, I would like to thank you, Steven Strufert. <clears throat> 
I would like to thank you um, because you've shown me that I've been a bigger a-hole than you. So you're an a-hole. I'm a bigger a-hole. Um, I'm a bigger a-hole because I was like you in the past. I used to mock people that talked about paranormal stuff related to Bigfoot. I used to tear them apart online. I used to go after them. Um, and I apologize to a lot of people after I experienced some of that paranormal stuff with multiple witnesses, I might add. Um, all the way up to the discovery of the portal in SOA last year. Not discovered by me, by the way. <laughs> discovered by Adam Davies and John Carlson. I didn't even know that portal was there for the eight years I had been there until they showed up. So, uh, bottom line is, I used to ridicule people over stuff like that, tear them up in the email listservs. Excuse me, before the advent of Facebook. And then I apologized to a lot of people because I was wrong. But the reason why I'm a bigger a-hole than you is because although I realized I was wrong in that the habituators were right, um, I still took my same competitive nature, the one that I grew up with, the one I was raised with when I played basketball all the way from age 10 through college and beyond, I took that competitive nature with me on into the habituation arena. And then I turned around and ridiculed all of the old schoolers. I um, was arrogant. I belittled them, put them down, teased them, mocked them, just like you were mocking me. So... You're an a-hole because you didn't learn from your mistakes. Um, you didn't learn from the fact when somebody violated your space by shooting up your bookstore that you don't turn around and violate other people's spaces. You don't do that. Matter of fact, most everyone in Bigfoot dumb thinks what you and your crew did is ethically and morally wrong. And the problem is you don't even see it that it is ethically and morally wrong. You're blind. And anyone who's enthusiastic about what you did is equally blind. And that makes you an a-hole. But again, the reason why I'm a bigger a-hole is because I've done it twice. I didn't do it once like you've done it. I, I did it twice. I'm a bigger a-hole than you. I ridiculed the paranormal people um, in the email listservs before the advent of Facebook. And then I apologize to him. And then I turn around after becoming a habituator and realizing that that's the superior approach to Bigfooting. You get more results that way. I didn't learn from my mistake the first time, took that competitive nature. And, um, you know, still I was the Richard Sherman of Bigfooting, the um, Charles Barkley of Bigfooting, the Muhammad Ali of Bigfooting, the... The guy who's constantly yapping with the mouth about how, how good and how successful I am. And putting the old schoolers down. Because, seriously, the habituation research method is much more successful than the old school method. And, and I'm not saying that in an arrogant, put-down manner. It just is. It is. And the reason why I've shared my research, the habituation research, over the last several years is to try to educate people that it is. And those who have listened and taken what I've been teaching and sharing back to their own areas have gotten a hold of me later on and said, Thanks, Dr. J. I'm really, you know, getting results because of what you shared with me. So it can be replicated. The habituation research model does work. Um, but that's besides the point. The, the, the point is, you're an a-hole and I'm, I'm twice the a-hole. So, <clears throat> okay, so that brings us to today. January 1st, 2016. 
the the day that most people you know make their New Year's resolutions. And um, so here's mine. Here's my New Year's resolution. Here's here's where I go from here now that everything has happened. Um, and by the way, I take partial uh, responsibility for you crashing my site, actually, um, because of not learning from my first lesson and yapping at the mouth. And, I, you know, you and I were playing with each other. I was taunting you. You'll never find it. You'll never find it. Well, you know and I know that the only way you guys actually found it is because one of the people that I brought up with me to SOA um, disclosed the location. You would have never have found it, but apparently my yapping at the mouth caused whoever, whichever Brutus, to knife me in the back and throw me under the bus to um, disclose the location to you. And, you know, again, I had it coming. My attitude um, sucked. So New Year's resolutions, where, where am I going from here? Well, um, you found SOA, yay, good for you. Um, it's yours. See, what you don't know is for the last couple months, my being up there, the SOA squatches have been kind of shutting down the area, kind of giving me the message that it's time to move on to a new location. You don't know that, but I'm telling you now. They weren't taking the food. Um, they um, pushed trees down over the road that I had to remove. I think that actually happened after your scout went up there the first time. I think that's when I found the trees over the road, by the way. I don't think they liked your scout. And you know, I drove up there and the trees are snapped across the road and no, it wasn't snow snaps because the tree burns. These were young trees, no burn marks on them. And they were right on the road and other trees around them snapped. And so anyway, I was getting this message. Time to move on. Well, so I'm moving on. I'm moving on to a new location. Where's that location? Uh -huh. <laughs> Not gonna tell you, obviously. Um, but, because to be honest, I don't know where it is yet either. Um, but what I do know is I've been in the field for 15 years since the um, needle in the haystack found me on the side of the mountain above the Oregon Caves 15 years ago. And um, I'm confident of this one thing. In all three research areas, actually four if we're counting Waha right here, I never found them. They found me. And I'm confident that moving on, the squatches are going to lead me to my next habituation research area. And when they do, I'm going to share my journey with everybody in the Facebook group about how to go about finding a new area and, you know, what to look for, but also relying on the squatches to guide you. And I know that sounds weird and strange and cuckoo to, to those of you that don't believe in that stuff. Like I used to think it was crazy weird and cuckoo as well when people talk that way but I trust them they will guide me they will lead me and I'll find that new area and when I do um, I've established a track record with enough people to be able to report findings etc without having to bring a whole bunch of people up there to vet and verify it I think I have trust built with enough people out there that they know when I say something that's true. When I say there's squatches and so, uh, no, you don't have squatches. And I have witnesses go up there and they say, yeah, he's, he's got squatches. And they're leaving fingerprints on the bowls and they're selectively taking food and there's no little critters up there. It's really weird. There's no animals, hardly any animals. There's tracks up there. Other people have casted tracks. Recorded language. Adam Davies, John Carlson discovering a portal. There's no portal, you're lying, I want to hear it. Produce the tapes, oh crap. Okay, well he, you know, it just goes on. So bottom line is, um, I know I can please some of the people all the time, all the people some of the time, but I know I can't please all the people all the time. 
so I'm not going to try. And I'm also, my New Year's resolution is to not be an a-hole again. I, I, I'm a little slow, I guess, but I, I'm learning. I'm not a perfect person. Trust me, I am full of flaws. I, I'm not even close to being perfect. That's why I need a Lord and a Savior like Jesus Christ to save me from my own butt. Um, and that's why I'm glad I'm surrounded by a lot of wonderful, wonderful people like um, Cynthia and all my friends that I've made in Bigfoot Dumb and my Squatch friends. Um, so I'm surrounded by a whole lot of support, love, and encouragement. So anyway, my New Year's resolution is to not be an a-hole again. Not going to taunt people. <sighs> not going to ridicule people. Not going to put the old schoolers down if they want to continue with their methods. They can. That's, you know, all form. You know, they can go for it. Um, Stephen Strufert. And um, your comrades who decided to violate my space and disclose the location of my research area and happy dance and your YouTube video in the process. Um, or at least smirk. Um, I forgive you. I forgive you for misbehaving like you have forgive you for violating my space. I forgive you for hijacking my research area. I forgive you for violating what everyone in Bigfoot knows is an ethic that you just <laughs> don't do. You, you don't, you don't hijack other people's research areas. You don't, you don't do that. And, and you did it and it was wrong and I forgive you for it. Um, here's what I'm willing to do. You and your comrades and anybody else you disclose the location to sew it to. If um, you want some help in how to approach the Soa Squatches in a um, successful manner, i.e. the habituation um, research method, as opposed to the old school of hanging up trail cams, blasting out calls, whacking on trees, getting out your thermal cameras. If you want help, I'll help you. Be more than happy to teach you. Be more than happy to come up there and overnight with you, but you'd have to follow my protocol. You'd have to follow what's been working. You'd have to be teachable. You'd have to be willing to learn. If you want me to come up, I'll help you. Um, but unless I'm invited, invited up by you, I won't be going up there anymore. I'm, again, confident that I'm going to find a new area. When I do, I've learned from various um, events in the past three research areas that won't be repeated in this fourth research area. The first two when I was in the old school um, aggressive paparazzi money shot approach method um, and then obviously so on. So, um, Steven Stufert, you're an a-hole. I'm twice the a-hole. Forgive you. And, um, oh, I almost forgot. Silly me. Um, my New Year's resolution also involves how to love people who don't love me, how to show respect to people who don't respect me. Um, not just liking people who like me, but learning how to be nice to people who don't like me. Um, how to love my enemy. And how to, if I get slapped on one cheek, how to turn the other cheek and, you know, have the appropriate attitude and heart of Christ you know, I'm not perfect and I have a lot to learn and my attitude is really is really in need of improvement. So instead of the um, Richard Sherman of Bigfooting and 
you don't know who Richard Sherman is, Google him on YouTube and um, type in Richard Sherman, Seattle Seahawks, and you'll see how mouthy he can get. So instead of being the Richard Sherman of Bigfooting, the Charles Barkley, the Muhammad Ali, I'm going to strive to be more like um, Cam Chancellor or Russell Wilson. Um, or as far as politics are concerned, more like Ben Carson, who isn't shooting off his mouth like Donald Trump. Although I like Donald Trump, so, but I think he does shoot off his mouth and that's probably why I liked him. So, anyway, I have a lot to learn. I'm not perfect. And so, part of my New Year's resolution is to do a better job of showing the love of Christ and, um, and acting like I'm a Christian. Instead of just talking the talk, I need to um, walk the walk. I haven't been doing a good job of walking the walk. And thank you, Stephen Strufert, for inadvertently bringing that to my attention. For that, I'm grateful. And one last thing. I'm going to unblock everybody on the TSUSA Facebook group. Anyone that's been blocked is going to be unblocked. You want to join our group? You're welcome to join our group. The rules are going to, you know, be adhered to. Um, being kind, being polite, being respectful, not being rude, not being snarky, not being cynical, blah, 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 no swearing, name calling, all that kind of stuff. If you violate the rules, we're going to have to put you back out of the group again. But, um... Everybody deserves a second chance. Everybody deserves a second chance. A third chance, a fourth chance. Um, so you're, you're going to, all of you out there are going to get your second chance if you're interested in it. I'm going to sit down and unblock everybody. Give you a chance to join the group. I hope you um, choose to be kind and polite and respectful and and um, join me in my journey of finding my new location. Um, and again, anyone going up to SOA, um, you want me to tag along with you and teach you how to do it, I'd be more than happy to. Otherwise, I'll leave you um, to your old school techniques, which you'll be able to compare and contrast your results going up there with the old school techniques with everything I was able to produce with the um, habituation research method and maybe you'll learn from that because um, I was up there for the first four years with the old school techniques and didn't get much and when I switched over up there to the habituation research method things exploded up there in a major way so I'm willing to help you out if you want my help otherwise good luck Hope you um, enjoy the area. It's beautiful up there. And um, I'm willing to lend you a hand if you want me to. So, Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I'm looking forward to um, the journey. Want all of you out there to buckle up. Because we're going for a ride. 2016 is going to be an awesome year. This is Dr. J. Signing off.